The waterfall chart is suitable for illustrating how an initial value is affected by intermediate positive and negative values. The starting value and the final value are represented by whole bars, while the intermediate values are represented by floating bars. To create a waterfall chart, drag and drop the chart object into the sheet. Add the first measure to the chart. In this case, we add total sales. The second dimension can be a positive or negative contribution to the first one. In this example, we add the sum of the expenses and select to subtract it from the total. You can continue to add other measures. Here we will also add the total of the taxes and as before, we select to subtract it. Now we want to add subtotals to show gross income and net income. To do this, select the subtotals checkbox of the measure where you want the subtotal bar. In this case, we calculate the gross income by subtracting expenses from total sales. Then we calculate net income by subtracting taxes. Now the visualization looks like this. The gross income before taxes and the net income after taxes are deducted. You can then edit the visualization properties. For example, we can change the color of the different values. The waterfall chart is suitable for illustrating how an initial value is affected by intermediate positive and negative values. The waterfall chart provides a quick understanding of the transition of a value. The waterfall chart is not relevant for detailed analysis of the data, as you cannot make selections in the chart or expand the data. And that concludes this video. To have more insights in the ClickSense feature, look at this playlist.